eventually overnight in this in this prison fucking okay, no. hell and uh, I wake up in the morning oh blood I, I, middle of the night I go in this cell it's they say lie down so I lay down I knew really at this point I thought I'm never coming out of my house again it's just not getting me anymore you know and I thought I couldn't find it so I lay down and there was a pan a toilet in the corner you know and it, it was raised the bottom was raised where they screw it into the floor it's right oh that'll do me so gone I wake kind of must have been some time hours late in the middle of the night and it's like oh god this is like I turn over like your eye sort of leg leg Leg. Oh no, two knees. Somebody's having a dump in the night, and I'm on the phone. Like, oh, so we get out of that in the morning, and they take you, take you for this shower, and you're thinking, no soap, no soap. Let's stay away from the soap, just in case it's on the floor, you know. All those through. We get through that, and and they take me to this cell, and this guy who looked like Ernest Borgnine, he's doing his nut at the guy that's with me. And he's obviously saying, I don't want to hunk her in here, get him out. You know, I'm like, oh, no. So he take me somewhere, there's all these corridors, you know, like the typical prisons. And I'm a wimp, believe me. And you take me in this other room, fine. So I go in this room and there's a guy, this guy called Deutscher looked like he wanted to kill me. And there was a bloke who looked like Chuck Berry. all right. And there was another long-haired fella. So that's not too bad. It's no long-haired fella, you see. So they say, you're there. So I'm thinking, not turn me back on that Deutscher. So I turned around and faced the door against this bunk, and this is an older fella there, probably my age now, or younger than me. It's been a little bloke, I thought, he's been in here a while, I can tell what he's wearing, you know, la la la. I thought, that's funny, the cell door's open, they're in, they're out, they're in. Perhaps it's going to be all right in here, I don't know. Chuck's going, all right, I'm going to like Chuck. His door's your dick over, I thought, he's going to kill me if I fall asleep. I'm not going to fall asleep. He doesn't like the look of me at all. So anyway, I was, the, 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 the young guy comes in again and he's like, all right, all right, lovely. And all of a sudden the other fellas go, oh no, now I'm definitely not going to sleep. And I pass out, fall asleep. And then Chuck Berry's waking me up. You are going home, you are going home. And then they got us out and uh, they said we'd been released. And I remember walking through the courtyard and, and all the prisoners were doing that with their cups across the thing, like we've been in there for centuries. It was probably about 30 hours or so and my dairy air was no good, it was just gone. I, I just, uh, that's a great way to steer. Once the system's got you in trouble, so I stay away from the system. Oh, that was horrible. The best bit was waking up, seeing leg and leg, and then putting the two and two together. Oh, no. Then the nasal receptors kick in, you know what I mean? He's barking down there. You don't want to see him. Gotcha. Gotcha. <coughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay. What? Okay.